I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I am wearing Elmo pants. I had plans today. I was gonna be productive and do stuff and here we are. <laughs> Hello YouTube, my name is Marie and let's talk about Kingdom. Kingdom is a 2019 miniseries. It aired today and I binged it today. I was not expecting to do this. I sat down and I thought I'd watch maybe one episode and then do something else. Like I had plans. But anyways, this is a mini series consisting of six episodes and season two is scheduled to air in February. Out of all of the K-dramas that are set to air this year, Kingdom is one of the few that caught my attention and that is because the premise instantly hooked me. Kingdom follows a crowned prince as he investigates his father's mysterious illness. His search leads him far from the palace, which in and of itself is not a very safe place for him at the moment because the queen is pregnant and she could be bearing a legitimate male heir, whereas our crown prince, the male lead, is the son of a concubine. So he leaves the pa palace in search of answers for his father's illness, and before he knows it, he is facing a dangerous epidemic. Zombies. If that doesn't sound like a good time to you, I'm not sure we can be friends. <laughs> I personally love zombie shows because they're not really about the zombies. These sorts of monster apocalyptic shows are actually about humans. They usually discuss people and how we treat each other in times of crisis and how we can maintain our morals or I guess more balance our morals with our survival instinct. Kingdom is no different. Also, like other shows of its kind, our male lead, the Crown Prince, forms an unlikely band of different people with different background on his search for answers. You've got his personal bodyguard, and then you have a female physician, and a commoner with a mysterious background, and then lastly, a cowardly magistrate. Now, while I liked them all, and they all do a good job, my personal favorite was the commoner. I thought he was awesome because he's a survivor and I'm drawn to survivors. I also just love how whenever he ran anywhere, he ran, like he was booking it. And doors, doors aren't gonna stop him. <laughs> if you've watched the show, you'll, you'll understand what I mean. If not, you should. So let's just get into everything that I liked about this show because I I don't think I have any negatives. And first and foremost is Kingdom is stunning. Seeing as it is a mini series, it doesn't have to worry about stretching its budget. So every single shot looks like it's dripping with money. There are a lot of wide shots of breathtaking scenery or aerial views of characters and like a lot of quick fast moving camera work or slow moving camera work or just just everything is so wonderful and the use of color and lighting particularly shadows was both very artistic and engaging not to mention fog oh there's like one scene or sequence with fog and ooh, you are getting into a treat when you watch this the first episode is a lot of setup, as you would expect, but it's not boring. I had a strong sense of foreboding that drew me in and made me very curious in the show and just where it was going and I was along for the ride of this show. I was on the edge of my seat most of the time. <laughs> Zombies within Kingdom are slightly different from the ones that we're used to, being that they hibernate in a sense during the day and I thought that was such a cool twist and I did find myself wondering whether or not that was just like a creative decision on the writer's part or if this type of zombie had any roots in Korean folklore because a lot of cultures around the world have their own version of a zombie so if you know let me know. <laughs> Now you may be wondering to yourself, is this a scary show? There is blood, there is guts, some heads roll, but it's more of a thriller than it is a horror jump scare fest. The music 
for a lot of the show is what put me on edge. So my overall rating for Kingdom is 5 out of 5 stars. I just had so much fun with this first season and I'm eagerly awaiting season 2 at this point because I really enjoyed the characters. I'm excited to see where they go and where the story goes and have a good day. Have a good night. Bye.